Hi guys, um, I'm going to do a quick video just about, I want to talk about a few conditioners basically because I'm about to go and co wash my hair tonight. So I just wanted to go and before I do go and do that, I just want to talk about a few conditioners. So I've got in front of me on my bed, I've got just basically a few conditioners that I've been like using recently. So first of all, I think I'll go with the Sheer Bliss just because I was using that for about... Um, at least four weeks I think um, and I really really liked it my hair really liked it in fact part of the reason I knew that it wasn't just a fluke that I really liked it was not only because I used it for a few weeks in a row but also because when I ran out I used the Miss Jessie's like a whole line of Miss Jessie's stuff and just wanted to try out the samples I had of Miss Jessie's and the feeling on my hair afterwards was so different to what it had been for the weeks um, prior to that when I'd been using Sheer Bliss so I was a bit disappointed with the Miss Jessie's uh, deep conditioner and leave-in. Um, this Sheer Bliss can be used as a leave-in as well as a deep conditioner. I haven't used it as a leave-in, I've only used it as a deep conditioner, but my hair really likes it. I've nearly finished it. I saved a little bit just so I can sort of show you guys what it looks like. And it's a thick consistency. Yeah, so it's a really thick not really thick but you can see it's quite a thick consistency um but my hair loved it the only thing is because it's really thick it it's obviously won't stretch as far as a runny one as a runny consistency uh, a runny conditioner sometimes does but my hair really really likes it so it's just a shame that I don't know if I just use like loads of it too much of it but I just wish it lasted a little bit longer than it does my hair likes it and um, what I did sort of try and make it last a little bit was to sort of add some coconut oil on top of it when I was applying it. Sometimes I did that as I was running out towards the end just so it would stretch a bit further and it still felt really really lovely. It's got like a nice, oh, I'm so rubbish at describing smells, but it does smell nice. It's, it's a mild smell. I like that about Belinda's products, they're like natural fragrances so it's never sort of, it's never sort of over fragrance. It's just sort of a nice is that coconutty? I think that is kind of coconutty. It's, yeah, I think I'll go with coconutty for that one. But yeah, it can be used as a leave-in. But I haven't used it as a leave-in. I've only used it as a deep conditioner. I'm going to go close my hair so it doesn't matter that it's a mess at the moment. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this is an empty pot. Like, uh, I finished that. But yeah, so Sheer Bliss, I totally want to buy that again. My hair loved it. Then... The other thing that my hair is really liking at the moment is this, I'm trying out, or have tried out, because this is my second bottle now, I have tried out the Tiji Love Peace in the Planet Let It Be Cherry Almond Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner I really like, it's not just because it's cheap, it's £3.99 in TK Maxx and I've just fallen in love with it, it's really runny, it's like a really lightweight you can barely see that it's so lightweight it's really really runny see um yeah and it sinks in so quickly to my hair anyway i don't know how it'll work for anybody else's hair but for my hair it sinks in really quickly and i just love the fact that it doesn't leave it greasy but i do have to reapply it um daily if i want the sort of if i want my hair to feel moisturized again but it does me it's just i just think this is a wonderful daily moisturizer for me um, yeah, I really like this one. It's three ninety nine. It's not one hundred percent natural. It's eighty eight percent organic. No parabens, no artificial colours, no syn synthetic fragrances. It has got silicones, but I just like the curls that I get when I use it. I, I, I like the way it coats my hair. I like the way it sinks in. It's not greasy. Not heavy. Um, yeah, I like this as a daily, like just touch up the moisture of my hair. I'm gonna keep using it. I don't know. If, it, if I'll always feel the same way about it but at the moment this is my quick fix goes quick fix go to I really like this then the other thing I wanted to see if anybody else noticed was I used to buy the smoothest silk conditioner and shampoo I love the shampoo I've never been like bowled over by the moist by the conditioner but I mean it's it's okay I don't my hair doesn't really like the leave-in but as the the for the this rinse out conditioner, the smooth and smooth as silk conditioner. The smooth as silk conditioner, 
I've never been bowled over by, but it's okay, it's whatever. But I figured that there, there must be something different between some of the ones I'd heard some of the US girls talking about and this one that they're selling over here. Anyway, next time I looked for Smooth, smooth as Silk, the conditioner, it was different. It was this one, which is Smooth as Silk Deep and Moisture. So the other one says just Smooth as Silk Conditioner. I don't know if you can see it because my lighting's not great. But yeah, Smooth as Silk Conditioner. This one, the new one I just bought the other day, says Smooth as Silk Deep and Moisture Conditioner. And if you notice, the little label that they have on the back that tells you what rating they are as conditioners is right at the last point, which says deep condition. So it goes from light condition to deep condition. So this one's marked there, whereas the original one, just a regular smooth as silk conditioner one, that one only goes up to there. So it's only like a light conditioner. Um, I haven't checked to see the ingredients to see what the exact differences are, but I will have a look. I will try and have a look. But I just wonder... Um, so that one was the original, not bowled over by it, but now I'm looking forward to trying the deeper moisture one. Then the other thing I picked up was this is the Tresemme Naturals Vibrantly Smooth. Um, I want to say a quick shout out to You Go Curl because they re-inspired me to try Tresemme Naturals again. I tried it before, I'd had mixed results with it. Um, when I tried it first time, first few times, I wasn't bowled over, but I picked up the Vibrantly Smooth and the Nourish and Moisture because I didn't know what to get. Although well, these are both Vibrantly Smooth, so anyway. But yeah, I picked up the one with the the one with the blue label here that says nourishing moisture as well as this label which says vibrantly smooth and I used them sort of like mix at the same time just sort of I didn't really register which one I was using at whichever time I just thought well people have said that they got good results from using Tresemme Naturals so I try it so I tried them wasn't bowled over by the results at all um, but then I tried it again to do a co-wash at one point and I was really impressed with how soft my hair felt so that's what I'm going to go and do tonight I'm going to do a co-wash but this time I'm only going to do it with the Vibrantly Smooth so I'll let you know what the results the results are like for that but yeah thanks to you Goku because I wasn't sure if it was just like unimpressive or what it was but if you see their video they talk about how the Vibrantly Smooth one can actually be like more conditioning a bit well the Nourishing Moisture one can be a bit more drying for some people than the Vibrantly Smooth one. So I'm going to try this out tonight and see how I get on. I don't usually co-wash my hair but I just I figure it would be fun and I just want to give it a go. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so those are, that's my little conditioner chat I guess. So, oh yes, sale. These, I picked up these on sale from Superdrug, 2 for 6 99 I've got the details on the Facebook page. So I put up a little post the other day, check it out. If you can make it down to Superdrug to get yours in the sale, make sure you do so. Um, other places that had sale, Holland and Barrett's got a, their penny sale on, so you can get uh, essential oils that are in their penny sale, like tea tree and lavender oil. Um, but yeah, you can see, see their range of essential oils and you can pick up some of those. So that's basically like buy one, get one for a penny. So check that out as well. Oh, and when I was at Whole Food Market, I'll put this in. I'll put this in the video when I do the edit thing. But when I was in Whole Food Market, there was a shampoo and a conditioner that I'd also seen in DK Maxx. I'll put the picture of it up. But in Whole Food Market, it is like eight pounds or something. In TK Maxx, it's like three or four pounds. So if you're going to check it out, I'd suggest you check out TK Maxx to get the better deal. Um, but yeah, so that's the conditioners. I am going to. Do my co-wash tonight with this. I am eventually going to try out the differences between this. I am hopefully at some point going to pick up some more of this. And I'm sure after I've co-washed I'll be using this. So yep, yeah, that's my conditioner chat and I will see you guys soon. Bye!